So uh, we're here with Sonia and she's giving us a bit of an insight into some of the more challenging aspects of this course here in Bratislava. We're near the top of the course here and you've just got underway Sonia. You're coming down here and then you, you reach this part of the course here. What, what do you call this part? We call it uh, trupka, which means trumpet because it's uh, fast and uh, it's like melody you need to sometimes go fast, sometimes slow, use right way and so on. It looks like there's a lot of different directions here you can go in depending on how they set the course but I would imagine some days it can be very challenging here. Yeah, it's usually the, um, if uh, the person uh, uh, if, uh, yeah, if we have hard course here then it can be really hard but uh, 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 and usually it's always like from right to left and then again right yeah, so. Is it the sort of part of the course where you can make up a little bit of time though, depending of course how the gates are set, but it looks like if you get a good uh, trail through here, you could actually go through quite fast. Yes, because uh, I think a lot of Slovaks uh, spend here a lot of time, so we already know like uh, which way use and uh, where is uh, better to hold the pedal in the water and where is better to pedal so hopefully it will be good and Sonia a lot of people talk about home advantage do you think this is the course where the local paddlers will have a really big advantage over the visiting paddlers of course yes also I'm not from Bratislava and a lot of people will come from my town and uh, we have two courts here and in Litovsky so um, People spend here a lot of times, um, especially uh, when we have here some big races. Sonia, this is one of the more interesting parts. What do you call this one? We call it Kachavales, which means uh, like a, a duck a roll or something like this. Yeah, I think it's a really special one because when it's small water, uh, it's uh, always another, like when it's big uh, water. In big water, uh, it always stops you, and uh, so usually people stay in the roll. And when it's small water and uh, you need to do upstream, like from the right to the left, no, from the left to the right, uh, it, you always go down. And this is about midway through the course, isn't it? So. You're not completely tired yet, you still have a little bit of energy left when you get here, which you're obviously going to need your, all your strength. Yeah, it's uh, also hard because it's on the quite second last uh, um, part of the course and uh, usually people are already tired, so yeah, it's hard. Now everybody talks about Niagara, shall we go and have a look at that? Yes, no problem. So just behind us is part of the course that they call Niagara and I think you can work out by looking at it why it's called that and a lot of the athletes this week have been spending a lot of time here learning how to, to master this part of the course. Sonia, tell me a little bit about this, it looks really tricky. Well, it's, it's the hardest because on training you can jump it 400 times and then you come on the race here and. 101 and you you should not make it yeah and uh, it's the it's in the bottom of the course so people are tired and uh, when you jump it right you lose always a lot of seconds yeah I usually go left because also on C1 I pedal uh, better on left and on right I'm always afraid still yeah, it's big roll and a uh, lot of um, uh, a lot of people hurt there. Yeah, and also before the finish is uh, one rock in the middle, and it's also dangerous because when you jump it, it's uh, hard to pedal away from it. So, is there a trick? Is there a strategy to coming down Niagara to to try and make sure that you get through okay? Always go fast, and when people want to go left. 
then uh, the last hand should be left. And when people go to right, last hand should be right. All right, so this is going to be where your race is won or lost, isn't it? If you're going really, really well and you come down here and you make a mistake, then you could blow everything. Of course, because as I said, uh, I on training it's like five seconds when uh, I'm just like two meters down from the gate, so it's quite a lot. You, somebody can have absolutely perfect run and he can finish in Niagara. Well, good luck. Thank you. Yeah.